did it when we signed on. Thank you. I guess we have to give you permission. I got it. I can leave the meeting when it's- that, That's a good the... background, Sandy. <laughs> okay, great. Here we go. Good, bad, I'm the guy with the gun. Hello, folks. Welcome to another edition of Firing Line Radio Show. This is Philip Naiman. Uh, today I have on my guest, I have Santi. Santi's a great three-gun shooter. We're going to talk a lot about that. But before we get going, we wanted to really um, just address what has gone on in the world here. Because as you know, the world has lost its mind. And that's evidenced by Joe Biden's competency level. Um, if you take a look at the sanity of the world and the competency level of Joe Biden, they're very similar. Okay, we have zero sanity in the world, zero competency of, of Joe Biden. And we have witnessed this last week here, and I know you've all have heard it all week long, but we've witnessed this last week, the demise of 13 great Americans, and many of those, I think three of them from right here in our local area, from Indio and Riverside and some of the other local, local towns. So we, uh, we regret that. We regret the fact that they were given an impossible job um, with the unbelievable rules of engagement and asked to do something that really couldn't be done and then had to pay for it with their lives. And the yeah. incompetency of this administration is legendary. You know, it's anyway, uh, we, we watched, we watched great Americans step up like Tim Kennedy took a, uh, got involved out there. I think they, they airlifted about 12,000 people as a private enterprise uh, working, and uh, he's part of the Nosler team. So you all know who he is. He's a pretty serious character. So congratulations for that. Um, trying to be involved and trying to help where you can. One of the things that I decided to do this, this week is I took the ties that I was normally giving to local things, and I sent them to people who were on the ground and moving moving Americans, trying to fight for Americans. I think that that's, and for Christians, you know, because when the Taliban, yeah. when the Taliban's running your hometown, the sheep yeah. aren't safe. Yeah. So it, it's important. And I think that we should all band together and find a way to get involved and to support the right causes and, and let your feelings known at the ballot box. Matter of fact, one of the ways we can do it here in California we can practice getting rid of Joe Biden by getting rid of our horrid, yeah. horrid Absolutely. Gavin Newsom on September 14th. Yeah. Santi, yeah. how about you? Well, this, how stressful is this situation? And the, the most frustrating thing is the lack of uh, accountability that this administration has. I mean, it's unbelievable. Here you have a guy who doesn't listen to his military handlers at all and just leaves $85 billion of arms <laughs> to the Taliban. And they, they're just, he won't answer any questions, just downplaying the whole situation. It's the worst foreign policy uh, disaster in my lifetime, you know? And I the, the $85 billion, let's talk about that. Now, I, yeah. I do financial planning and investments. That's my job, right? I own Cornerstone Christian Wealth Management. Okay. Math is important to me, right? Numbers mean things. So I hear $85 billion. I'm like, holy cow, that's a, that's a ton of cash that uh, they left behind. What is it? Yeah. And then I realized, okay, we had 2,500 uh, until the drawdown, until he gave up Kabul. We had 2,500 soldiers stationed in Afghanistan, correct? Right. We had 600,000 small arms. That includes... 64,000 or so machine guns, uh, yeah. 100, I don't know, 300 and something thousand, 380,000 uh, M4s, 130,000 pistols, small arms, right? 600,000. Yeah. That's 240 rifles per soldier. <laughs> yeah. Now, Makes you wonder how unintentional this was. I think it was anything but. Yeah, I think I mean, it was all by I mean, I don't even have 240. I think that's a good goal, but I don't. So... <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm telling you, this was absolutely, they armed an army. So you take a look at the last, you know, six years, we've had no new wars under Trump. And now with this yeah. idiot in chief, the, the, the yeah. Iotis idiot of yeah. the United States, um, 
we see that we have just armed what several hundred thousand people who hate us yes and now we said hey you know what we were kicking your butt in the field because we owned the night so here here's some night vision yep here's some night vision here you here's guys, some you didn't have any support. air support so here, here here's some black hawks yeah. like well they're yeah. cavemen they can't fly them really they're flying them hanging people off the bottom of their helicopter right through kabul so yeah um not yeah. exactly uh you know, these guys have all trained other places and are coming in here. This is the, the Haji army. And we have the level of incompetence and the fact that, that he has not been impeached. And here's our problem as conservatives yeah. is we have sponge chin square pants, Mitch McConnell coming out saying he's not going to yeah. remove the president. Now, Mitch what McConnell the- is married to the Chinese lady whose family's billionaires from the shipping containers in china he's absolutely compromised yeah but if if this isn't a reason to remove a president what is yeah i mean you got you got the last you got trump being impeached effectively for for a phone call and here's a guy that has committed is responsible for probably the worst atrocities that that has happened to to us in decades it's unbelievable how anyone in the right mind could, can see this. Republicans and especially Democrats who have voted for this guy and say this was handled well. It was handled. It it it, it was a disaster. I mean, if this, I, I, if this was handled well, yeah. I want to see what a screw up would look like. <laughs> exactly. My blood is boiling. I mean, you you just hit touched on a topic that that has has really baffled me and i it's unbelievable that this guy and this administration how the lack of fallout the fact that this guy is not impeached is just a tragedy and you know fact of the matter is what this tells me at the very least that election fraud has dire consequences especially if you put an idiot like joe biden in office it is incredibly detrimental you know and and i just think the republicans and and i'm going to say this the republicans that that are they are so quiet on this the republican leadership quote unquote is weak across the board i mean you know why in the world are are we even waiting to impeach this nut the guy's not even lucid (laughs) you know if you see him I want to say the lights on, but nobody's home. But the lights aren't even on. So we had a, we had a couple of uh, fictional characters in, the, in our past that have come to play that remind me a lot of this president. First one is Max Headroom, uh, if you remember him. <laughs> yeah. You know, Joe Biden's now stuttering like him, but that 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 looks like Max Headroom needs a reboot. The other one is Mr. Ed, because basically he is just a talking horse. There's somebody else behind him. Wilbur is in this background, uh, putting the words in his mouth, right? And as a matter of fact, right. I saw an interesting clip from Obama several years ago, says he w- didn't want a third term, but if he could be in somebody's ear, helping him out while he's in his pajamas in the basement at home, he would do it. He says that would be pretty oh, my. Is that you know, not what we've seen? You know, it, 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 it's funny. Um, and during Trump's four years, he was on television fielding every question imaginable from a hostile media, uh, you know, that, that just absolutely phrased the questions in, in just a horrible, disrespectful way. President Trump, are you still beating your wife? Exactly, exactly. And then here, I think Biden has maybe a handful of press conferences. His initial press conference happened months after his inauguration. 100 plus and- days, yeah, three months. And they were they were softball questions that he couldn't even answer coherently. This guy is not only mentally uh, uh, challenged, but he is, is not smart. And what what's what's the this is the worst scenario because the lady Kamala Harris, she's an admitted socialist, and then Nancy Pelosi is about as corrupt as they come. So if there's a way to impeach, you know, <laughs> the top three, they, they, they should, they should all, time. all be gone. Right. Yeah, they, they should. And, and I was actually surprised they picked Kamala Harris. I thought they were going to pick Barack Obama as vice president. Um, yeah. I thought that would have been a smarter play for them. At least their votes might've been more yeah. believable. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, and then then knowing that Biden was on his way out, then Obama could have his third term. But, he, you know, he's obviously still there in the background running things. And maybe yeah. he'll come in as VP, be a point of VP if Kamala gets there. So, you know, there's a lot of sneaky things that are happening here. And the problem is we obey the rules, right? The problem, right. the problem is we obey the rules. The other team doesn't. So yeah. they are scheming and sniding and we're like, oh, well, you can't do that. That's wrong. Their yeah. only goal is power. Their yeah. only God is power. So yeah. whatever it takes, if it takes, um, you know, throwing children in a fire, whatever it takes to get their thing, they are going to do it. It's important to them. That's the only thing they care about is moving their agenda one step seconds. further. So, yeah. folks, that's what we're fighting against. And, you know, it's a spiritual battle. It's a political yeah. battle. And we need to G-O-Y-A, get off your couch and get in the fight here you need to get involved folks we'll Absolutely. be right back here with santiago santi we're going to talk about some fun stuff coming up and we'll be right yeah. back after this all right all wow are you ready any more coffee yep. coffee coffee is good Zach, drain it, baby. Drain it. Go, 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 go. Yeah. <laughs> well, it works fast on you. Look at that. The um, Phil, we can go on this whole, I can talk about this forever. I just, yeah, I, I don't like the state of this, this country. Uh, I don't like mask mandates. We, the, the censorship, it's a clown world. We live in a clown world, you know? And the, the argument against the Second Amendment is there is no argument. You know, you and I can't have a a barrel, you know, under a certain length. But here you give these terrorists, you know, <laughs> freaking night Irony. vision. Irony. You know, it's like. Night vision, body armor. Now, they've talked about. Black Hawk helicopters. <laughs> yeah. 2000 armored vehicles. Boy, you want to talk about what would make a good IED? How about an armored vehicle you can't stop coming your way? Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know, pack well, they're going to take full of whatever. It's made to, all that it's stuff made to, to protect China. this way. It's not made to go that way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, all the all the good stuff is going straight to China. All the uh all all the uh, uh well, the, the stuff they dis they disabled the stuff. They're going to take it to China and they're going to reverse engineer and make it work again. Yeah, it's this is so. Uh, why how isn't anybody, stupid can you be? Why isn't anybody court martialed for leaving that behind? Yeah, seriously, somebody made the decision. Oh, hey guys, let's line them up for the Talibaners, and uh, it, it was it, it's totally intentional, and that's why Trump was so unpopular. He he literally is a peacetime president. Both which, sides do that. Which, which Ronald Reagan was. And how do you how do you attain peace? Right. Peace through superior firepower. That's right? right. If you know, if somebody comes up to you and they pull a knife and you pull your gun, guess what? The fight yeah. stops, right? Yeah. If they pull a knife and you have nothing, you're in trouble. So we always want to be out better armed and better prepared and better trained yeah. than whatever we're going to come up against. And that way... The maggots that are cowards that do these kind of things, and yeah. Taliban included, they won't yeah. show their head. If, it, it, if, it, if we're really it, good at playing whack-a-mole, they're not going to lift their head up. Imagine Russia and China watching this idiot stutter through a press conference. I bet you I, that terrified him. That, that you know, no, Putin's, not at all. Putin's not. peeing his pants right now when he looks at Biden. No. He's like, he's only peeing his pants because he's laughing so hard. The guy is, he's a weak tit. I mean, like, it, it's unbelievable. He strikes no fear in anybody. Any man is watching this and just, now's the time. We, we are weak on the leadership department. Absolutely weak. And it happened so quick. Well, Seven no, months. no, it, 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 he was there. They hid him for nine months. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No, I mean, he, the, this, this downfall has happened so quick. Yeah. But but I I, I no no, no. I, it's it's been going on it's been going on since April when the Taliban started their march. They met zero resistance as they completely took over the country of Afghanistan. City after city fell, 
and yeah. then and then well we better close Bagram Air Base because you know clean it up for him because you know I don't. Then know. they offered us. I can't even make a sarcastic control of comment. Kabul, but that. we didn't want control of Kabul. <laughs> it's insane. There's so much going on. Huh. Well, it, think... it has to be intentional because nobody can screw up accidentally that much. Nobody. That's it's true. an impossibility. There's. That's you true. look at the factors again, right? We come back to math. We look at probabilities. It's like how can you have ten thousand flips of the coin and it's always heads? Yeah. You know, it, that's what the the probability of that is like finding a. Uh, one gold coin when you bury Texas under two feet of silver dollars and you throw one of them in there that's gold and then you reach in and grab it. That's the probability of all these things happening on accident. It's an it, impossibility. The, the media is, it, journalism is dead as far as I'm concerned. Well, you know, with the exception of, you know, this Project Veritas or, or you know, certain, you know, certain people that are, are, are seeking the truth. But, you know, here's a guy whose son is smoking crack with hookers and then talking about losing yet another laptop, you know, imagine to the Russians. If, knowingly, to this the one Russians. went to the Russians. Right. I, imagine if Ivanka and, and G, Donald Trump Jr., if Eric Trump did anything, you know, just fractionally, uh, you know, in, that insidious. Well, imagine the fall. I think you know, this guy. Gets I've, I've heard it said that Hunter Biden was the first pullout that Joe Biden messed up on. <laughs> yeah. I doubt it. I've heard it said. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's, I do want to talk about the Second Amendment. About you made a good point on that. So let's let's pick it up here. We got a quick commercial, okay. and uh, we'll get going. Here we go. All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. See this? This is my boomstick 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 do you have your boomstick folks if you're not awake by now looking around what's happening in this world you need to realize that you need to get your little bunky hips down to bullseye sports guns and ammo in riverside he's between arlington and, and central off of brockton bullseye sports guns and ammo because frankly look around look around you need to be prepared. You need to prepare for your family. You need to be prepared for yourself because you are the first responder. If you do not have your firearm yet, and if you're a, a good person, head on down to Bullseye Sports Guns and Ammo. I don't know what you're waiting for. I really don't because this is it, man. Wake up, folks. Uh, defend the Second Amendment. Join them over at Bullseye Sports Guns and Ammo. Talk to Vince. Um, he'll let you know where things stand. And, uh, you know, if you haven't got your first firearm yet, get one. If you have one, get another. Because in training, two is one and one is none. And 10 is always best. So, folks, head down to Bullseye Sports Guns and Ammo in Riverside, 951-823-0211. We'll see you down there. Hey, Santi, uh, actually, on the 25th this month, they're going to be doing a uh, book signing for a friend of ours, Ed Hoffman. Ed Hoffman uh, runs Summit Funding and... Uh, out here in Moreno Valley. He's got his own show on AM 590. He's just wrote a book and he's a, he's a great guy. Actually, he's a world champion arm wrestler. You want to talk about an interesting oh, wow. chat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he's going to say, Hey, look, you want to refinance your house? I'll re I'll arm wrestle you over it. Just don't, don't <laughs> fall for that. Don't well, I that. watch over the top. So I think I, my technique is pretty good. So. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. I'm going to bet on that though. Anyway, <laughs> he, he's doing a book signing out there. We're going to try and head down there on the 25th of September and uh, hopefully we'll be able to do a show down there. But we're checking that out. So September 25th, Bullseye Sports Guns and Ammo. Go see Ed Hoffman. And he's doing a book signing. So it'll be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Okay. Hey, you made a point. I don't remember if we're on the air or off the air. But you made a great point about the Second Amendment and this yeah. administration and the way they view you being yeah. a, a law-abiding citizen, a taxpayer, a guy who, who obeys the laws versus yeah. the, the sheep shaggers that just got yeah. 600,000 automatic weapons. Yeah. Well, I mean, and, and, and believe it or not, you know, the Democrats have pulled this crap before, you know, that Operation Fast and Furious. You know, here they are trying to, you know, limit our freedoms under the Constitution. And then yet they are just haphazardly giving not even small arms. We're, we're talking about Hard helicopters. Weapons. Yeah, we're, we're talking about everything. Artillery. Night vision. Um, my goodness. The, you know, the war on the Second Amendment is just a total, 
exercise in hypocrisy as far as I'm concerned, you know, you know, and what kind of signal does that send? Every, every society who has been persecuted by, by a government, you know, the first step is taking away firearms. I know people, people like, like to make light of that and it can't happen here. They, it, it, it's unbelievable how naive people are. You know, let's, just, let's talk about that. So, so we know what's going yeah. on in, in Afghanistan. Well, we know what we've been told is going on in Afghanistan. We know right. the cache of weapons, which is enough for a freaking army, okay? Yeah. Uh, to well equip an army, 2,000 um, armored police carriers, 600,000 small arms. I don't know how many, just tons. No one's even said how much ammunition or grenades are left behind. No one's even right. said that, right? I mean, 600,000 rifles with no bullets, that's one thing. 600,000 rifles with 2 million rounds, that's, you know, whatever. <laughs> you know, right. you know they did that. And, and the fact that those things were left there, it's like, we're not going to send a Marine Expeditionary Force to go retake Afghanistan and say, oh, by the way, guys, we left your rifles in, in storage locker number 13. Hope it's still there, right? <laughs> if we ever have to right. go back, we're bringing our own stuff. So why yeah. would we ever have left that? That's number one. Um, Number two, you brought up Fast and Furious. This was under Barack Hussein Obama and Eric Holder and Joe Biden, where they let 2,300 weapons go to the cartels because, you know, cartels can be trusted with high-powered rifles. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. Know, and they were going to buy them from China anyway, so why not, you know, just sell them like this? And knowingly, knowingly arming the cartels, knowingly putting yeah. blood on their hands. And, and they are, they are, uh, they're guilty. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, the, the, the brain matter emanating from the left is non-existent. I mean, but they, they do it with impunity because they can get away with it. The media is complicit. We all are complicit by, by staying silent. You know, we have conservative leadership who just gets bullied. You know, it, it comes down to who we're voting for. And, and you know, if there is a fair election. We got to pick the right people. That's why you had mentioned California. And, and you know, I, I know you know, California, people discard California, it's going to be effectively blue forever. But I, I believe in one of your old podcasts, you said Texas, I'm in Texas right now, Texas was once a blue state, right? So the, the, the power still resides in the people. I mean, granted, it's been compromised drastically. But I, you know, ultimately, we're going to put things in place where I think a fair election is going to be possible. And hopefully it's with this recall. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're trying to force feed the, you know, the, these mail-in ballots. And it, it, it's all smokescreen, you know, the ridiculous yeah. mandate. It, you know, that, you know, we've been quarantined. Healthy people have been quarantined for almost two freaking years, okay? The Democrats are power hungry and we have to be vocal about it. You know, you, you had mentioned the, the liberals are, are great at, at, you know, at, at putting a concerted effort. In their case, it's they're they're total cheats. But you know, the the Republicans, the the conservatives, we're we're all fractured. You know, the, there's no there's no second, con the Second Amendment community too. Yeah, the Second Amendment community too. I mean, you know, he, he, you know, it's it's a uh, it, it's it's everything. And in, everything is an infringement, as far as I'm concerned, on the Second Amendment. If you're limiting our access to protect our families, that is very serious. And, you know, we have to vote people in that, that have our interests in mind. And, you know, we got to get this bozo out of Sacramento. And, you know, there are some pretty good concerns. Well, I, I'm going off on a tangent, but there are some pretty good candidates. There's one good candidate. There's one who has a chance. That's Larry Elder. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway. Uh, you got me going. I thought we were going to talk about fun stuff. Like, well, you know, well, here we could lead into it this way, because you said yeah. earlier when we were at our pre-interview that yeah. kind of your backstory is how you even got involved in firearms was you saw the yeah. level of violence coming around, which is like, you know, we had yeah. fast and furious and all of a sudden the cartels armed. And then all of a sudden you're in yeah. Long Beach and you see this stuff. So pick it up from there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, so uh, fun fact, I did not purchase my first firearm until 2016 right and it, it was around the time I had my um, third and fourth child I have you know twins and they were born and and I grew up in a military family I grew up around guns I know problems with people owning firearms I just never got around to 
to owning one myself. So one night I was perusing the internet and I stumbled across this thing called Live Leaks. I think that's what it's called, Live Leaks. And, and I was watching these uh, um, Al Qaeda slash Taliban films murdering Christians. You know, I, I'm sure we've all seen these, these, the footage of this. So I went down this rabbit hole and then there was a selection about cartels. And I actually saw that night a cartel gangster behead another human being who, I guess the description, that person was in a rival gang. Behead well, him he with- He had a, it coming. Yeah, oh yeah, because oh, they have their own uh, way of justice, but beheaded this guy with a dull blade. I saw this and the caption said, you know, this happened in Tijuana. And I'm like, holy crap. That level of violence is just right in our backyard. So I, I said, you know, I got to protect my family. Purchased, purchased the firearm. My first firearm was a, a SIG. I went to Turner's and I, I picked the, <laughs> this is almost embarrassing, but I picked one chambered in 40, <laughs> 40 cal. Uh, it's a SIG uh, 229E. It, it just, it looked cool. It, 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 it felt good in my hand. Knew nothing, right? Fast forward three, four months later, I had a at least 10 to 15 guns. I mean, I just could not stop buying these things. And, and uh, you know, I'm a guy, you know, just, these things are cool. I, I, I saw it. I, you know, don't really have a, you know. A, hey, San, a, a, Santi, you don't have to yeah. explain it on this show. Okay, okay. Yeah. Is, I, I, think, I think we're all on the same. We're common thing. ground here. You know, right. they just passed a law oh. about the, you can only purchase one firearm a month. But we've actually made that a goal. So <laughs> yeah. The, the gun of the month club is uh, what we call that new registration law. Yeah. So what, what so, do you, uh, so you, then you started looking at training, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I took a in, introductory, it's like a handgun, introductory handgun class. And Here's the it, pointy it, end. Keep this away from children. Exactly. Bullets go here. Exactly. And, you know, it was a class where you're shooting at this target that's literally three yards away doing uh, Mozambique drills and, uh, you know, bill drills and, and just like, you know, hey, this is pretty cool, right? Then, then, you know, a few months into it, I saw this YouTube video of uh, Keanu Reeves, right, at shooting three guns. And I go, what the hell am I watching? That looks real, you know, and it's totally cool, right? You know, um, and I go, what is this? So I, I read the caption, it said three gun. And I go, what the hell is three gun? So get on YouTube, type in three gun and- Three gun, and, for when two is just yeah. not enough. Yeah, because three gun is three times the fun. And I type in three gun and I type in local three gun and a video of a um, grandmaster shooter named Jojo Vidanis comes up. Oh yeah, I've and had Jojo, Jojo on, the phone, on the show. Yeah. And, and Jojo is a world champion on both um, the pistol discipline and most recently uh, he won gold medal as a senior in, in Russia um, and at the rifle world shoot, uh, I believe in 2017, the guy is phenomenal. So when I saw, I typed in three gun locally, it was a video of um, him just shredding um, at Paula. And I said, I got to do this. I have to do this. I don't know what, what this guy's doing, but whatever he's doing, it looks fast, it looks efficient, and that's the best thing I've ever seen in my life. So I was awesome. hooked. Hey, folks, Philip Naiman, join us back here with Santi. We're going to talk more about 3Gun. You can find out our podcast at firinglineradio.com and get our social media at gab.com forward slash firinglineradio. We'll be right back after this. Was that two, Dan? That was two. That's yeah. segment two. All right. It gets oh. a blur. Nine years later, it's all a blur. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it goes by really fast here. <laughs> it does. That's everybody always says. I, I say, hey, we have an hour show. And they're like, oh, what am I going to talk about for an hour? And then at the end, they're like, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. We're, we're out of time. You can always come back yeah. on. Yeah. All right, Danny. Here we go. Spartans, lay down your weapons. 
Come and get them. Hey, folks, Philip Naiman, Firing Line Radio Show. You know, one of the great things about being on air is I meet a lot of great people and I have a lot of great product sponsors. So one of the things I have now is uh, Maglite. Maglite's come on. And if you go to their website, maglite.com, M-A-G-L-I-T-E, use product code FIRINGLINE20, you get a discount on anything you want. And I'm going to say their TAC LED light, the rechargeable one, that's the one you should have by your bed. A gajillion lumens, always charged, ready to go. Crown bezel in case you need to um, imprint something on somebody's forehead. Works perfect. So it's a fist pack size with a ton of lumens. So you're going to love that. So check that out. That's the TAC LED light. I think it's got great tactical uh, issues for that. But use the firing line 20 discount code on their website, and they'll get that squared away for you. Hey, joining me back here, I have Santiago. He goes by Santi. Sorry about that there, buddy. Um, talking about his evolution in three gun. Now, we've kind of been all over the place on this show, but we're just getting into his introduction to three gun. Now, why is that important? Because this guy went from zero to hero in just a few years about his level of shooting. And, uh, and three gun is, is a really an interesting thing. So actually, Santi, just tell us what a three gun competition looks like and why that appealed to you. Well, a three gun, uh, when, when you say three gun, it's rifle, pistol, and shotgun. And not three pistols. Not Pistols, of course, that would actually be pretty cool. But uh, um, yeah, so during the course of fire, you're at least utilizing two of these weapons. And um, uh, when you're training for three gun, you it, it's very fast. Um, uh, you get you very. Well, what was that? Where do you train? Well, I train at home a lot. Uh, I do this what's called okay. drive, but um, okay. typically I would train at Route Six. Uh, Route 66, Route 66, um, which uh, coincidentally is owned and operated by uh, Jojo Vidanis, who I mentioned, and 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 their family, just a great family. Um, but you know, I, I I try to train at least live fire once a month, even with the ammo crunch. Um, it's important that I I uh, complement my dry fire with with live fire practice. Um, but, uh, but as far as dry firing goes, I, you know, I'll train at least 10 to 15 minutes a day and, um, it's, it's better to train weapons manipulation and transitions and, and go at it hard for 10 to 15 minutes than have this long drawn out, you know, two hour session where you're just half-assing it. Um, but, but I, I'm in love with the competition. I think I, prior to this, I was an avid golfer. I belong to golf was my life. I had, I belong to two country clubs, uh, uh, Friendly Hills and Whittier and uh, Old Ranch and Seal Beach. All my friends, my circle of friends were golfers and, and my whole life centered around that. But when I discovered firearms and in the, the competition circuit, it is just like golf, except way cooler. <laughs> it gets <laughs> right. the up. And, uh, you know, my golf buddies see my, my, my training videos, my match videos, and they go, what the hell? You know, they, they think it's awesome, too. So um, there's a lot of parallels between competition golf and competition shooting. You know, you really hand eye hand eye coordination is very important. Yeah, hand eye coordination. It is it is more cerebral than you think. It's not anyone could could go out and, and see an array of targets and press the trigger as fast and, and look cool for for the gram as they call it, look, looking cool for the gram. But it takes a, 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 or a golf is is a sport of efficiency and same with shooting. Right? It's 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 efficiency of movement. You got to get rid of the wasted movement. You have to, um, they call it scaling, where certain targets can be shot at a faster cadence, farther targets at, at, um, at uh, obviously a slower cadence. By the way, competition shooters hate the word slow. You never go slow, but <laughs> um, uh, what, what's the old saying? Um, slow, smooth is slow and or, well, I, I can't even say it. I've, I've erased it from my memory. But anybody that says smooth or slow is smooth, smooth is fast or whatever, if that's the advice somebody's giving you, There's run slow. away from that person. Yeah, slow is slow and fast is freaking fast. So, um, But back to shooting, uh, it is a sport against yourself. I mean, there are, like I said before we got on air, Southern California, fun fact, and I will, I, I'm going to get a lot of heat for this, but I think 
the, the pool of talent in Southern California alone could possibly be the greatest pool of talent in the country. You know, we have, we have uh, GMs, grandmasters in all disciplines. We have world-class shooters, like, like Kyle Litzy, who is a guy that I'm always second place <laughs> in our local competition. Uh, you know, if we're not for Kyle, I'd be something special, you know, <laughs> but, 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 but Kyle, have you, have you introduced Kyle, him to golf yet? <laughs> yeah. I, I, Kyle, if you're watching this, I'm kicking your ass in golf. That's for sure. But, uh, you know, Kyle, Kyle started around the same time as, as me. Um, and our journeys kind of are, are parallel in terms of timing. And in 2018, he and I, um, said, screw it we're gonna participate in the rifle world shoot in Sweden, right? Wow. I, I am not a, a great rifle shooter. It's, one, it's, it, it's the one platform I'm, I'm weak in. And, um, but Jojo, the Don has encouraged us to do this. He says, you know, you can take your shooting uh, career and your shooting journey on another level by, by, um, by shooting internationally, right? So the rifle world shoot, they had the US team and they had a, um, uh, other team members from the U.S., which Kyle and I were. What rifle and, were you shooting? Uh, we were shooting an AR-15, like a, a like a souped-up AR-15, which, by the way, is the gun of choice, you know, in, in these competitions. And and um, two twenty-three and, or nine mil? Uh, two two three, two two three. Um, so Kyle actually came in, I believe it was seventh place. This was his first international competition. The guy is phenomenal, probably the best rifleman in the country. I'm, I'm not understating that. Um, and, and he came, he was second American to uh, Tim Yackley, um, but he just put on a phenomenal display of shooting. I trained with him leading up to that. And I, I told the, the, the team captains that watch out for this guy, he's ready to, to win it, win it all. And he said, well, who's Kyle Litzy? Now everyone in the shooting scene knows who he is. But um, I happened to DQ out of, that, uh, out of that event. I traveled to Sweden and I, I got disqualified. Uh, um, and, and just on that, the, in international rules, here they have a 180 degree rule, right? So if, if your gun passes 180, you're, uh, you're out, you're, uh, you're disqualified. But in IPSC, IPSC, um, they have markers that you are not to uh, to cross. So the markers could be 180 degrees. It could be, in this case, it was more. It, it felt to me more like 100 degrees. It was, it, it, it was absurd. But I tripped over a rock, you know, and and my in the muzzle. It was questionable, and the the muzzle was was um, was deemed as crossing the mark. So I was DQ'd. I, I, th I believe there were 30 stages. I, I shot more than half. It was a third day, but let me tell you, I would not give up that experience for anything. That was probably the, the gr one of the greatest experiences of my life. Kyle and I, we, we squatted because we weren't on the, the U S first team. We squatted with the Russians, the Russian national team. So, um, the Russians were was there collusion and, there. You know what? This was 2018 in the heart of everyone accusing Trump of getting in bed with, with the Russians. Russian bad. Russian, Russian, Russian. These guys were the nicest guys. One of the, as a matter of fact, when I was DQ'd uh, by a German, um, by a German uh, uh, official, it was the Russians who were just in their face trying to defend me. You know, like, no, you know, Santiago did not do that. You know, it, you know, I, granted, they were they were they were sp speaking broken English, and, and and but they were making a pretty valid case, and I, I appreciated that. You know, the, the and and there were you got to watch the Germans with the rule books. Uh, oh, where are your papers? You know, I I knew that going into it. They said, watch out for this. You know, nothing. You know, nothing against Germans, but that German uh -huh. official, they told me to watch out for her because she's looking to DQ people. And I, I go, that's, that's absurd, that's stupid. Wouldn't you know, like I'm out of there. And, um, but anyway, back to that, that competition, my, my shooting journey has taken me from not owning a gun to, to competing at, at that world level. And, and after 2018, I think my game just went to a completely different um, uh, level.
uh, I, I saw what, what, you know, how good these people are, especially the shooters from Finland and Norway, Sweden, I, they must have, they must be born with a rifle in their hand. They, they are awesome. But um, yeah, I, so folks, I folks, wanted, you can find out more about uh, Santi and his journey. Uh, he's on Instagram or the gram as he likes to call it here at St. L B C at Instagram S A I N T L B C. No, 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 Instagram. no. S A N S A N T I. No, S A N T L B C. Long Beach City. The C is for city, not Crip. I'll let him say it. Go again. Okay, it's S A N T Sant L B C. Long Beach City. City, and not Crip. Instagram. And anyway, you'll, you'll see him killing some targets there, and we'll be right back after this. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's not your fault. It was mine. Yeah. So what, what the weapons do you typically shoot on your competitions? Um, the brand of weapons. Uh, my shotgun is dissident arms. Oh, I'd love to talk about this too. Um, it, and uh and my rifle is a Titan Ballistics. That's my sponsor and uh, Kyle's sponsor. And uh, my pistol is a 2011 uh, made by Atlas Gunworks. You know what I think would be fun? Yeah. Uh, I just got a grant from the CMP, but uh, to do a three gun as a World War II stuff. So you have to have a 1911 for a pistol and not, not an STI, you know, you <laughs> yeah. have to have a basic a rock island style these days just a yeah. plain seven shot 45 acp and you yeah. and not in a high rise but just a, a regular i wouldn't say flap holster for competition but yeah. you know just in a, a regular leather holster a grand for your rifle and, yeah. and then like an 1897 pump shotgun for the shotgun yeah and you have to do it yeah. in long pants and, and a canvas you know the world war ii jerseys i think that'd be freaking yeah. fun <laughs> Can you imagine all those guys they, out there with grands? Cool, 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 cool. They have they have stuff like that. It's called um, hard as hell, where they have these uh, milsim type, you know, divisions. I don't do that. I'm in the race division, so right. you guys. And 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 are you using you know a lot of these guys I've seen with these uh, these race guns? It's like powder puff loads. The slide's barely moving. You know, it, it's. Uh, they have this thing called power factor where um, your gun has half your bullet has to have a certain feet per second. So although it may seem like a powder puff load, that's really the comp. They have a, a right. comp up, up top. And then these guys are tailoring their loads to make just the amount of power factor. Exactly. Right. For, for the gun to cycle. It, it's I'm telling you, I can talk all day about this and, and, I went from buying factory loads to I have two reloaders made by Dylan, one that makes uh, two two three ammo, and one that that makes nine millimeter in both minor and major. Um, it's unbelievable the, the, this hobby. It just has encompassed my life. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. It's it's well, you know, the thing is the thing is it's like. Okay, I, I always bring this up. Here's my main excuse, right? Yeah. My main excuse is that I like to do all kinds of shoot. Three gun is fun, right? Uh, IDPA, yeah. that's fun. I yeah. like long range shooting. I like the, the PRS style. Uh, I like shooting sporting clays. But yeah. if you want to be really good at one, you have to give all the others up. You know, I mean, if you want to be a great sporting clay shooter, you're not going to be yeah. a great IDPA shooter. Just, yeah. Just, you know, it's just, it's different and you need to put the time in on these. So I am yeah. the master, the jack of all trades, master of none. I like yeah. to have a lot of fun out there and yeah. uh, I make other people feel good about their scores. <laughs> like in, when yeah. I, when I used to play golf, um, I, I tell them I would get more golf for my money than anybody else. I mean, if you, <laughs> We all pay the yeah, same amount the whole... and you look at how many times I got to hit the ball compared to how many times you got to hit the ball. I'm way yeah. better off, far more economical. That's right. Exactly. Okay. So let's talk about your, uh, your choice of stuff going on here and your sponsors yeah. and uh, yeah. we'll pick it up. Uh, okay. Do you have any competitions you're doing in California soon? Um, 
I, I believe I'm, I'm looking at, uh, there's one in West End Gun Club called the, I, I believe it's sponsored by Turner's Outdoors. It's the, the right. It's the rifle. Uh, and I, I, well, that's my, in September, right? Yeah. It, it's, a um, the precision rifle, it not, it's not PRS, but it's, it's all gas guns, but, um, yeah, there's a rifle competition there. Um, I'm doing a competition. What, what's uh, the date on that? No, that's a great question. Holy crap. Um, is it September or October? Phil, I just, I, I, I don't know what this, this 10 seconds I can look on practice score, but, um, that's up and coming. I have a, a PCC pistol caliber carbine match, uh, the Arizona championship coming up on the third week of September. And then in October, uh, there's an AK match, uh, there's red October in Las Vegas. And then there is a, another one in Rio Salado. So October it's gravitating to be an AK match. AK is not my forte, but, uh, I have several AKs. I, I have a Galil, <laughs> you know, like, so I have the guns. I'll, I'll shoot them. But well, those, uh, you have those in Texas. Hey, they're California DOJ. They're in Texas. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, the guys in Arizona tease me, they said, you know, cause they know I, I bought a house there namely for this. And, and they tease me, they go, you know, you own the most expensive safe right. <laughs> in Dakota. You know, you know, that's true. I, you know, most of my cash is there, but I, I do have competition guns here as well, or California, I should say. Yeah. I couldn't find the, uh, that rifle match, but that does sound interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I'd also like to just talk about, you know, just getting in a competition in general. I think it's, it's healthy for you. I think it's, I, I agree. You, it's great. Yeah. And, you uh, know, anytime you can add just a little bit of stress to your practice. I mean, frankly, yeah. a guy gets a hundred rounds of ammunition. He goes out there and he shoots paper and he's like, Ugh. I mean, yeah. it's almost a chore. Right? Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and people in the indoor range, just they are, they're not getting the full effect of, of it. I mean, you can even train combat style or tactical style and not realize just how fast you can shoot a weapon, right? So slow down, you, know, you got the guy in the mic. Yeah, slow down. Exactly. There's no <laughs> double attack. Right, right. <laughs> the, the, the thing about three gunners is it, it's dynamic or just practical shooting in general. I would say practical, yeah, that's awesome. I mean, yeah. let's, let's talk about that. Sure, sure. Dr. Dan, send it. Here we go. Yes! Great hunter. Yes? yes? Fine figure of a man, yes? Yes? Yes. That is all you need to know for now. Hey, folks, just educating the population there. That is all you need to know for now. Folks, Philip Naiman, Firing Line Radio Show. Check us out. Get our podcast at firinglineradio.com. We are redoing the website, so that'll be coming up soon and have some nice information on that. Um, our social media, because fake book is fake book, and they're part of the giant problem. Uh, we have a lot of you on our group pages. You have not transitioned yet over to Gab. I'm just telling you, we're going to wake up one day, and it's all going to be gone. So get your little bunky hips over to gab.com forward slash firing line radio gab.com forward slash firing line radio. I've got uh, the arc and scope I'm giving away. We have the mag lights. I got more mag light flashlights I'm giving away. And remember their discount code firing line 20. If you buy something off their website and a bunch of other stuff, right? Too much to go into right now. Cause this is our last segment. And I really want to spend some time here with Santi, Santi, um, three gun champ. And we're talking about, you know, let's talk about the competitions and, and what you use in the competition. Because I think as we just were talking in between here, people should at least try a competition. You're not going to win, but you need to do it yeah. for a lot of other training purposes. Yeah. You know, I, I, I we all started with a, a, a new gun and a hundred rounds of ammo and we go to an indoor range and, you know, hey, I, I can shoot the bullseye at seven yards, you know, and although that is a good skill to have, um, when you do practical shoot, shooting, whether it's uh, 
USPSA, IDPA, or three gun, you're getting a lot of training value because not only are you, um, you know, shooting in a dynamic environment, you know, you're moving, shooting, you're, you're, you're acquiring the targets. Yeah. You're acquiring the targets. You are dealing with malfunctions, uh, on the clock. So you're, you're adding some stress, but you know, you're also pushing the limit as, as to that particular platform. Like I've trained in, a, um, I've taken some combat training as well, but there are benefits to practical shooting just in terms of pushing the speed and pushing the accuracy it's unbelievable the top guys are just phenomenal i mean um you know you can you can peruse instagram but again kyle litzy is one guy they got this kid austin aris um you know who's local uh you know they shoot so fast and so accurately um who else uh Eric Liu, uh, Claudia Badanis, Jojo's daughter is just freaking awesome. I mean, she is, she is killer. And, you know, th these are people just like you and I, you know, we're not, you know, military or law enforcement, but the second amendment is for everybody, period. And if, if you have a gun, I, I believe it is in your best interest to, to train as much as possible and USPSA, Three gun is a great starting point. It's fun atmosphere, um, friendly competitions. The, the people are just unbelievable, unbelievable. I mean, if you come in and you don't have the gear, like literally two or three competitors will say, "Here, use my gear." You know, it it it, it seldom do you see that. You know, like, "Hey, try my seven thousand dollar pistol." <laughs> you know, on this stage. Hey, you know, hey, hey. There's nothing on this show that costs more than a hundred bucks. Okay. So. Yeah. <laughs> But but anyway, um, you know, I, I shoot three gun primarily and I shoot in the open division, um, which is the race car division. And um, so I have they call it all the dots. Right. So I have a AR-15 rifle that has a primary um, optic, which is a variable one by six uh, optic. And then I have an offset 45 degree for up close. Now the, uh, um, so, the variable, I mean, most of three gun, you're not shooting more than a hundred yards, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Three gun, uh, you can shoot up to 600 yards. Oh, really? So, yes. So it really does push the platform. Um, you know, a hundred yards and in, they call it hoser. You know, you can shoot at a, a, at a pretty fast cadence, but uh, believe it or not, most of these three gun matches are, are won and lost on the long range rifle portion so you know the the ar-15 is highly accurate out to 600 yards and i've shot competitions in in utah and texas with with 600 yard targets and and let me tell you it is so gratifying when you you hear that that impact that, that, that yeah but um so so my my rifle is, is a souped up rifle it's made by my main sponsor titan ballistics out in orange and um you know they had they had made my rifle, uh, my AR-15, my 223, and they also have made me my PCC, my pistol caliber carbine, which I, I compete with in, um, in USPSA. And then my shotgun is a uh, Vepr 12. It's a Russian box fed shotgun made by a company in Texas called Dissident Arms. And this, I have- It looks, I, it looks kind of like a, an AK style platform, right? Right. It looks it, like it. it. It, it 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 literally is an AK like the the the, the internals, um, and it it so that this company uh, kind of revolutionized the three gun uh, world by making these Russian shotguns uh, reliable. So a lot of us, uh, you know, started in the open division with uh, Benelli's with tubes that 15, 17 round tubes, and, and we would. <laughs> You know, and, and uh, Jerry Michalik still sticks, you know, the, the speed loaders into his uh, his shotgun. But then the, with the, the advent of these box fed shotguns and and um, it, it is just I, I hate to use the word, but in, in, in this in this competition world, it is a game changer. So dissident arms out of Texas, that 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 to me is the cream of the crop shotgun you know, bar none. Now in California, um, uh, I don't believe we can have a detachable box magazine on a shotgun platform. I think that's, 
in California. So yeah. uh, what I have seen in some of the competitions, guys who have that is they have like the juggernaut or it's almost like one of those uh, mechanisms they used to have like a bullet button type thing on a, yeah. uh, it's a detachable box magazine on a shotgun's a no-no in California. Just saying. Uh, so, um, oh, okay. <laughs> well, I know I get it. But, yeah. Um, I have seen guys that have a fixed magazine. It's like 30, whatever. I don't know. It's, it's 36 yeah. inches long and shoved right. into one of those. And that's it. You know, they load it up one time, lock it in there and that'll do the whole yeah. stage. But it's like, yeah, it looks kind of funny. It, it, they're, they're carrying it yeah, around. It's not, it's, yeah. It's not practical, although it is practical shooting, but um, it's practical for that but, stage. It's yeah, not what's going to exactly. be in the trunk of the car. Yeah. But, um, and then, and then, so, and finally, uh, my, my pistol is a 2011, uh, made by uh, a company called Atlas Gunworks. Um, nice. and they're on the coast and it is a, uh, it shoots minor, like, well, my three gun is, is a nine minor. And then I also have a nine major, um, a couple nine major, uh, uh, guns for USPSA made by, well, I got one made by Jojo Vidanis, one made by his brother, Jimmy Vidanis, 1911 speed shop. And I have a limb cat. So I have, I have quite the, the, um, the arsenal for, for competition. I, so I, I told myself buy once, cry once, or, or, or buy the top of the line and you have no excuse. Anything, you know, uh, until this point is, you know, after a point it, it becomes you. You know, like right. you, are, it's the, the Indian, not the arrow. Am I allowed to say Indian these days? I don't, I don't know. Or Native <laughs> American, whatever. You know, I, I know people are going to get butt hurt if I use the wrong uh, terminology, but. You know, it's kind of funny because there's a big sign out here in Palm Springs. Um, it says Indian land. It's like the word, like Hollywood kind of framed like that over this one area. Right. And I thought, I can't believe they used the word Indian. They should have used, but well, then the uh, California Band of Native, Native Kawea Native Americans. But that sign would be too big and cost too much. So they just went with Indian land. <laughs> oh, my. It just can't win, right? You, you, cannot, you cannot win these days. I, 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 <laughs> anyway, it, that's uh, yeah. whatever. So, um, Talking about training, talking about getting out there on your first time and just, just showing up, just yeah, read yeah, the rules, absolutely. show up, uh, yeah. tell, tell your guy, your range officer or whoever you're squatting up, say, Hey, my first time through, you mind, yeah. you know, give me a few pointers so I don't you yeah. know, get DQ'd yeah. on accident or. Yeah. They, they normally have new shooters briefings and, but, I, but I, I will just have to make it a like I, I would insist on anyone shooting competition it is it is 20 such, seconds it is such a gratifying experience and you will not be you will not regret it, it, it it's the funnest thing yeah folks i want to thank my special guest santi santi s-a-n-t-i-l-b-c yeah no s-a-n-t-l-b-c i gotta change my my instagram handle but all right that guy Go check him out on Instagram. He's a great shooter, yeah. great guy. I want to thank him for joining us here. Um, and I guess, you know, great, good luck at Turner's, man. Hope you win that sucker. Yeah, there's going to be some stiff competition, so. All right, God bless. Keep, uh, <laughs> keep Texas free because we're sending good people yeah. your way. All right. All right. Send the right people, please. Bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a great weekend, folks. All right. Hey, you can get a copy of this. I'm going to... Um, I load them up on Gab. Okay. So if you go to gab.com forward slash firing line radio, you'll see yeah. this whole video here. You can share it wherever you want. Okay. Yeah. Great. Great. So when, when, when does it go live? This will, this will air, air on AM 590 on Saturday at one o'clock. AM 590 at 1 PM. Okay. Wow. I didn't know it was. Oh, I, okay. So it is on the radio, right? I mean, I thought, I thought this was, you know, mostly for your um, YouTube uh, channel, right? No, or... We're just, actually, we just start, kind of started finally the, uh, the video portion of it. So it's kind of fun. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I, had a, a, uh... I had a good time. You know, I wish I did, like, I would have talked more about the shooting competition stuff, but we'll have you know, you back We'll have you back on. As a matter of fact, great. why don't we try and schedule something in October after you've done the next couple of matches? We'll go through those. Yeah, that would be awesome. 
please. Right. I, I would talk about that. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, you know, to get a hold of me. So after your matches, get a hold of me. We'll get you on the books and, and work it out. Okay. All, All right, right, man. Thank Have a great day. Thank you for joining it. me. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. I only butchered his name every time. <laughs> or his Instagram, I should say. Oh, wow. It's all that computer stuff. Uh, it's a new world. Yeah, but I'm an old dog. Okay. <clears throat> Promo. Ready? Go ahead. 